This is a Holy Land Pyro S, a wireless video transmission system that lets you shoot and transmit your camera feed to up to four receivers simultaneously with low latency and up to a range of 400 meters, all for just $699, but is it something that's right for you? Hey everyone, I'm Aaron from Reedy Visuals and we review camera gear and make content all about filmmaking and photography. And in today's video, we are reviewing this Pyro S wireless video transmission kit. And before we jump into this video, full disclaimer, this is not a paid or sponsored review, but Holland were kind enough to send us this kit to review and keep, but we have not been told to say anything specific and all opinions are fully independent. Now we have reviewed quite a few wireless transmitters on this channel in the past. And for the most part, the Holland models have been great with the only real downsides being sort of limits on range and latency making them okay but not super ideal for like live streaming. However for use as just sending your camera feed to a wireless monitor station for reference during like a film set they've been great for that and that's how we've been using devices like the Mars 4K. Now we don't use these for live broadcasts or recording the wireless feed on the receiver end only for shoots where we just need to wirelessly send a feed to a producer or a client etc during a shoot. Now this latest model increases the range up to 400 meters that's 1300 feet and also includes an SDI port which is more secure and offers better image quality making this an ideal wireless solution for use on cameras like the Sony FX6 we have here. Now if you don't need SDI and you're only using a camera that only has HDMI you can save a bit of cash and get the Pyro H instead where you'll get all the latest improvements of the new Pyro series but without the SDI port. Now right off the bat one thing Holland always gets right is the build quality so these have a magnesium alloy shell so they're super light but also feel very robust and well built. We've been using Holland products for a few years now and they are all still going strong so I do feel pretty confident in saying that these will probably take a beating on daily long shoots. The antennas do feel a little bit flimsy though and I can definitely see these getting caught on like wires or getting bent easily in a bag so definitely do take care but you do get a spare one. Now for power you'll need to use Sony NPF batteries or you can use the provided power adapter it doesn't come with batteries included. You aren't able to power these via USB sadly but I, what I do really like is just how simple this was to use. I didn't have to tinker around with any settings everything just sort of paired up automatically after you turn it on and it takes about 20 to 30 seconds or so just to sort of match up. There are some options to change the channel and frequency but I didn't actually have to set anything myself which is great. You just got to give it some time to find the correct channel and it kind of just pairs up automatically. So simplicity and ease of use for shooters like me who are constantly on the go that's always a big plus and that's something I feel like Holland always seem to get right in their products. Now the Pyro S lets you transmit to up to four receivers simultaneously so you could buy more of the receivers or if you use the Holland app on your phone users can also monitor the feed on their smartphones. So this is especially useful if you do shoots with lots of people like us we are both videographers for a university so often we're on shoots with like lots of different stakeholders and staff members and students so we're able to sort of show the camera feed to a project manager for example to a director to other student models so you're all sort of on the same page and can see what's being shot. As mentioned before the max range range is 400 meters but I always take these claims with a pinch of salt because this can be affected by things like how many bodies there are in the room, how many phones, if there's any sort of physical blocks like walls and doors etc. Also I don't think most people really need to go that far away from the receiver. We did do a little non-scientific test of this though and it was great to see that at long distances we did indeed get a stable connection with an approximate distance of about 300, 350 meters. Apologies we didn't bring a tape measure with us uh, until we lost the signal. Again thinking of most use cases is where in most situations at best I'm just shooting in a big lecture room or maybe a sports hall that kind of range is more than enough that, that I never need um, but your mileage may vary. The Pyro S operates on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz dual band and also features auto frequency hopping which basically just helps maintain a reliable and uninterrupted wireless video feed with video up to 4k 30 fps on both the transmitter and receiver via HDMI and 1080p on SDI. Other than when testing for that max range I've never really noticed any hiccups or breakups in the wireless feed during day-to-day -day shoots so that's great. However when it comes to late Latency, Holland claims the Pyro S has a minimum of 50 milliseconds of latency, which don't get me wrong, for my use case is absolutely fine. Again, I'm only ever using this for reference monitoring, but if you are someone who is doing, let's say, live broadcasts with multiple camera setups, uh, you have music and speakers and you need to time align stuff super strictly, I think the latency could possibly be an issue for you but if you're just like me and for the most part you're just using one camera and you don't need to timeline things and 50 milliseconds is just fine so again your mileage 
me vary. You are able to choose between a smooth mode and an HD mode, which just adjusts the bitrate to prioritize latency versus quality. But if I'm being honest, I didn't really see any real meaningful differences between the two modes as I'm not recording the live feed directly. And again, just using this for monitoring purposes. I'm not as interested in the quality, so I just keep it in smooth mode. Now, one really cool feature is that you can plug the receiver into a PC or laptop via USB-C and Windows will automatically detect it as a video source. So you can use the Pyro S feed as a webcam without the need of any additional cables. So if you're streaming with OBS, for example, uh, though I did notice that the latency is a little bit more noticeable here, but I could still definitely see this being a useful feature for certain use cases. One issue I have seen mentioned in some other reviews is that if you are recording the wireless feed at the receiver source, the image quality of the video itself can be lacking compared to other more expensive options. But again, because I only use these devices for monitoring and I think a lot of people will be doing the same, this isn't really an issue for me. So with that being said, if you are like me and you only need to use these, you know, a wireless transmission kit like the Pyro S for monitoring, and actually maybe if you don't need SDI I would actually say the cheaper Pyro H or even an older model like the Mars 4K may actually be a better option for you while saving you a bunch of money at the same time. But if you do need SDI and you do shoot up to those longer distances of up to 400 meters then the Pyro S is definitely a great option to have. The latency is still faster than some of those cheaper models as well and at $700 it's still cheaper than some of the more premium options on the market. I also think its simplicity is a huge plus as well so overall I think it's a great device for those of you who need a wireless kit but again do consider the Pyro H or maybe the older Mars 4K um, if you want to save some cash and don't need SDI or that large of a range. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions about the Pyro S, do let us know down there in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, do us a huge favor, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff that the YouTube algorithms like. You can also follow us on socials down here. And a big thank you to Holland once again for making this video possible. And I guess we'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>